women, especially those in rural areas, have been strongly encouraged to embark on antenatal guidance as early as possible during pregnancy as a way of reducing maternal mortality in their communities. The call was made following the premiere of a documentary on Monique Kumatekel's life, a lady who lost her life and that of her twin babies while giving birth outside the renowned public health facility in the nation's economic capital, Douala. Our reporter, Nathalie Juma, has the details. <laughs> The opening scene of the Monique Kumatheke documentary is one that leaves you with a cherry eye. The film reviewed by the Kafu Policy Institute looks at the tragic incident in 2016 which led to the death of Monique Kumatheke, a 35-year-old pregnant woman at a renowned public hospital in Douala. Itia Bruno is the Deputy Director of Communication at the Denis and Lenora Ferretta Foundation. He says it was important to shed light on that case. The Kafu Policy Institute has been working on a number of projects, one of them being private insurance, maternal mortality, and we decided to use the story of Monique to further buttress the message I want to pass across because it's been eight years, yes, some things have changed on maternal mortality and health in Cameroon. But is it enough? That is the question that we're asking ourselves. And those are some of the questions that we try to answer during this premiere. Because we think that just like Oliver Twist, things are being done, but we want more. And we do not want another repeat, another story of Monique is going to happen again. Monique's story is, however, not an isolated case in the country, as many Cameroonians have lost their lives due to the ability to access healthcare services because of financial constraints. Dr. Valerie Ngongo, Senior Health Researcher, Division of Health Policy and Research at the Nkafu Policy Institute. Monique Komate's case is quite a very sad one. I'm actually sure that her case is not the only one um, actually happening in Cameroon. Uh, it's quite uh, unfortunate that a woman would during pregnancy or during delivery. I know that there are many other cases happening probably in villages and in other regions in Cameroon. But Monique actually came to the limelight because it's happening in town and probably in front of a bigger hospital that we expected that something probably would have been done. Our Monique documentary sheds light on maternal mortality and needs for systematic change. It is not just a documentary but a wake-up call for action. Ngala Karin, a participant, said the documentary was a watershed moment. After watching this documentary by the CAFO Institute. I must say it's really a painful one because any person watching this will actually feel the pains that the family after all these years can still be feeling. The circumstances in which our Monique went to the hospital and everything that transpired over there, the loss of the child and her life, is not one we wish to anybody. Eight years after the tragic incident, it is important to highlight the importance of medical follow-up and note that Monique's story is a tragedy that should not have happened. Natalie Juma ending that report.